Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new virtual machine inside VirtualBox. So let's get started. Once you've opened VirtualBox, what you have to do is click New under Machine Folder, select Other. I have mine all stored in the same drive. It's D drive, VMs, and I'm calling this one 110 capture. Give it a name. It is going to be Microsoft Windows, but you can change that if required. And it is going to be Windows 10, also you can change that as required. Click next. It's telling me I should only give it two gig of RAM. Um, that's a bit low. I'm going to go for eight gig. So that's eight gig of RAM. I'll click next. I want to create new virtual hard disks, but let me just read that out for you. If you wish you could add virtual disks to a new machine, you can either create a new hard disk file or select one from the list or from another location using the folder icon. If you need a more complex storage setup, you can skip this step and make the changes to the machine settings after it's been created. The recommended size of a hard disk is 50 gig. 50 gig would be fine for this one anyway, so I'm just going to click next, or rather create. As you can see, you can have the choice not to add one at this point or to use an existing one, but we are going to create a new one, so just click create. This is the hard disk file type. Please choose the type of file that you would like to use for this new virtual hard disk. If you do not need to use it with other virtualization software, you can leave this unchanged. So this is basically VMDK is mainly VMware, VHD is a virtual hard disk I believe VMware uses, and VDI is virtual box image. I'm only using this in virtual box, I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to click next. It says storage of physical hard disk. Please choose whether the new virtual hard disk should grow as it's used, dynamically allocated, or should be created as maximum size fixed. A dynamically allocated hard disk file will only use the space on your physical hard disk as it fills up up to maximum fixed size, although it will not shrink again automatically when the space is freed up. A fixed size hard disk may take longer to create in some systems, but it's often faster to use. Dynamic's going to be okay for this, I'm just going to click next, but you do have the choice, obviously, of saying fixed size. It's asking me where I want to keep my hard drive, so file allocation size. Please type the name of the new virtual hard disk file into the box below, or click on the folder icon to select a different folder to create a drive in. And that's the same folder that my Windows 10 virtual machine has been created on. And here I can select the size. It says select the size of the virtual hard disk in megabytes. The size is limited to amount of files on a virtual machine. You'll be able to store on the hard disk. So we'll just click create. Okay, our virtual machine has been created. Now, as I'm going to use this to create an image for one of my other tutorials, I'm going to click on shared folders. I'm going to click plus and I'm going to point this to my Z drive. I want to automate it. I'm just going to go OK. So once that's been done, what we have to do then is we either have to connect it to a Windows ISO or boot to a Windows image. I'm going to try and boot it from my Windows deployment server. So let's have a go at that just now. So I'm just going to click Start and Normal Start. It's asking me to select a startup disk because it didn't find one. Please select a virtual local driver for physical media containing this to start. This should be suitable for starting a computer. It should contain the operating system you wish to install, a virtual machine. I want to do that now. The disk will be ejected from the virtual disk drive automatically the next time you switch on the virtual machine. But you can also use it yourself. So it does actually have a Windows 10 ISO. So I shall use that just now since it didn't appear to accept the pixie bit, and I'll click start. Should reboot. I really need to change the screen resolution that because that is absolutely tiny.
Okay. Let's start the Windows setup. So it's asking me what language I should install. English UK, time and currency, English UK, keyboard input method, United Kingdom. So I'm just going to click next. I'm going to click install now. Uh, at this point it says you can activate Windows if it's the first time you're installing Windows in this PC or you're installing a different edition. You need to enter a valid Windows product key. The product key should be on the confirmation email that you received after buying a digital copy of Windows or on the label inside the box that your Windows came in. Your product key should look like blah. If you reinstall Windows, select a product key, your copy of Windows will be automatically activated later. So I don't have a product key. This is a test machine, so I don't even have a license for this one. Ah, one long, boring ELU. Or ELUE. Yeah, I accept. Next. Okay, when it gets to the screen, I'm going to custom install. I'm going to select the unallocated space, which is a 50 gig hard drive that was created earlier on. Just going to click next. And it will auto partition it. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.